Hello, my name is Ben Ogden, and today I'm going to be talking about our feasibility proposal for the insufficient lighting that's on UNM's campus. This feasibility proposal was also created by other teammates, me, Lucy, Justin, and Natalie. This proposal will be addressing the lack of quality lighting. As you can already see in these two photos, it's already relatively dark. And at the times that these were taken, it wasn't even that late at night. This photo here was the dock pond at around roughly 6.30 p.m., accounting for daylight savings time. The picture was taken December 1st, somewhere around that time. And this photo here is also near the UNM's bus stop that's on campus, roughly taken around the same time. Students feeling of uneasiness on campus. This is because of the increased crime rate that's been occurring in some of these pocket holes on campus that there's dark lighting. We'll also be addressing our plan to place and uphold these lights and the benefits that can come from these changes. So one of the big issues that occur from these dark pocket areas is that there's increased crime. As we saw in 2020, there were around 56 reported burglaries, five robberies, four arsons, and four illegal weapon arrests that were on campus, mostly in these dark pocket areas that were on campus. If nothing's done, the con there will be more constant accidents and crime that will occur on campus, um, possibly even more if people realize that nothing's gonna get done, so they feel like they might feel more comfort to commit crimes in those areas. This will also increase the feelings of uneasiness for students and staff who are on campus during these times who feel like they have a lack of security. And by doing this, there will be decreased attendance for nighttime activities, which will end up decreasing the amount of funds that the UNM campus actually gets from students. So our solution to the problem is to install a lighting system across the entire campus, mostly in these dark pocket areas that will cover previously unlit areas. This will allow students and faculty to walk more safely at night, decrease crime rates on campus, and provide a generally increased sense of safety. Now, there are a couple different options that we could have went with, such as security camera systems, but out of all the options that seem most plausible for campus, choosing lighting over other forms of security will be the most efficient way to boost security per dollar spent. Referring to UNM's operating and capital budget plan for the 2019-2020 year, it mentions that $85,000 were allocated towards safety lighting compared to security cameras, which was roughly around $6 million. As we can see from that, that safety lighting is a much smaller quality money that's been spent money towards it. So not only will lighting be the cheapest option for UNM, but lighting funding is already low enough as it is. So it only makes sense to increase funding in areas already low. That being said, even though $6 million have been spent on security cameras on campus, most of them aren't even on. Um, from personal experience for me, there was somebody that got something stolen from them on campus, and we tried to go to the UNM PD to try to get access to the security camera footage, but the cameras that were roughly around the area were already off, so there was not much we could do with that. So I figure if there's already $6 billion spent into that, then adding more funding to that would not provide much greater security for anybody on campus. So one of the big steps that we have to do is we have to decide on a light to actually go with. Um, these lights were more determined by my teammates who realized that these lights were the most efficient to actually work as lights, but also for energy wise that they were the most efficient. Another step we have to worry about is hiring a company to install sustainable and efficient light systems across campus. There's a couple of different options that we could go with. Um, such as Insight Lighting. Um, they're a pretty good plausible company as they already worked on the lights there at the UNM pit. We also need to install the lights that, so they're not easily stolen or broken. We need to make sure we install lights in the pocket areas 
as those are the places that are more prone to crime. We need to check the functionality of these lights often and consistently. We also need to keep track of the effectiveness of better lighting in terms of preventing crime and accidents and in providing reassurance. And then we need to create feedback polls. And the last thing, lights cannot fix all crime related issues, but feelings of safety, especially at night will increase across campus. Crime rates will significantly decrease, including minor crimes. Classes and activities that take place at night will feel and have more participants and therefore receive more support and funding. It is important to keep activities alive and there are many activities that will also be able to take place at night once security measures are increased due to more people being willing to walk around on campus. Funding is the most affordable security choice for UNM. This is just a visual. This is in that proposal of the 2019 and 2020 year for how much money was spent towards security and safe stuff through the general fund projects. You see that safety lighting only has 85,000 where security cameras and fire suppression had 6 million. And overall improved lifestyle of students and staff, overall just by adding more lighting that's on campus.